Having a state-of-the-art forensics lab would benefit the city greatly in our effort to reduce gun violence. Um, it would help us to um, close more cases as it relates to both fatal and non-fatal shootings um, because we would be using data and science um, to solve these cases um, and to be more accurate um, in the way that we're moving cases forward. Um, currently, uh, we're not solving um, the majority of cases. In 2022, for instance, um, police were able to solve, to close 37% of fatal shootings and the rate is lower for non-fatal shootings. Um, and so we would be able to close cases and bring accountability, um, get dangerous people off of the streets um, if we could have a state-of-the-art uh, forensics lab. Um, also, you know, our, I, I want to make the point that the folks that we have working in forensics are some of the best in the country. Um, they're lauded throughout the country for their skill level. What um, we're struggling with is capacity. We're struggling with capacity as it relates to the space, the physical space that we have um, to hold a, for, a forensics lab. And we're also struggling with capacity in terms of the amount of people that we have working in this area. And so currently the city is actually um, going through an RFP process um, to solicit developers to build a new forensics lab that would be bigger and that would allow us to hire um, more people. And I think the benefits to this are great, right? One of the key benefits are having more trust in the police, right? We're going through a time where we've seen gun more gun violence than we have in decades in recent years. And a key part of solving cases is having the community work with police, but community is only going to, are only going to work with police if they feel a trust, right? They have to feel trust, one, that um, police are there to help them, um, which is why a lot of the reform efforts that we've been undertaking in the city are critical. But they also have to have trust that if they cooperate with police, the police can actually close cases, right? And so I think this is a key part of building that community trust, um, as well as um, achieving accountability for people who are committing, you know, heinous crimes.